Hello, my name is Felix Giacomino, and I am the Director of Technology at St. Stephen's Episcopal Day School, which you may have heard of as the school that hosts Miami Device, a two-day learning event where teachers and administrators come from all over the world to learn how to best implement today's technologies to prepare their students for their unknown future. I upgraded our school to Google Apps for Education in early 2011, and our teachers have never looked back to those limited and primitive tools we were using before to communicate, create presentations, documents, spreadsheets, and so much more. Throughout the year, I provide training on Google tools to my school's faculty and staff, as well as for other schools that need training for their employees. I'm an educator first, so I love to teach by engaging my students in relevant and useful lessons that demonstrate the many possibilities Google Apps provide. I'm excited to submit my application to become a Google Certified Trainer, and I promise to deliver top quality training and to do proud the entire community that already embraces Google Apps for Education with enthusiasm. Thank you. Hello, teachers. I know a lot of you couldn't make it to yesterday's Google Mail tips and tricks, but um, I'm going to just show, share this one uh, that seemed to be uh, one of everybody's favorites. Take a look. Here I am on my email, and let's say uh, somewhere else I found a website that I really wanted to share. Uh, so what would you usually do to share a website that you found and you want to email it to somebody? What most people would do is they'd come up here, they highlight the URL, they would right click and copy here, they go to edit and copy, and then they come here, they compose a new email, and then they paste it into here, then you have then then about the subject. Do you type it out or do you go back here, highlight what it's about? See how uh, much of a tedious process that is? Watch this. Follow my mouse up to here and boom, you see this icon right here? Check out what this does. One click and it automatically composes an email. It takes the title of the website and it put, places it in the subject line and it puts the URL in the body. Of course, I can now add to this and that's it. Just type in who it goes to, boom, hit send and that's it. So how do you get that magical button? Okay, so it's called send from Gmail and I'm gonna show you how to install an extension. Now I'm using Chrome as my browser, so this is not gonna work in Safari. You see this little colorful waffle there that says apps? Click on that and that brings you to here. You click on web store and again, the name of this one is Send from Gmail by Google. Uh, all you need to do is click where it says Add to Chrome. I'm, I already have it, so it, it doesn't say Add to Chrome, it says Rate it. But this is what it looks like. You click Add to Chrome, Add Extension, you just say yes, yes, I, okay, I agree, and that's it. It'll appear there. Then all you need to do from then on, you want to share a website, click that button, it automatically composes the email, puts the title in the subject line, puts the URL in the body, and you're done. It's a big time saver. A lot of people like that, so I thought I'd share it with you. I hope to see you next time. We'll be going over tips and tricks with Google Docs. Okay, see ya.